Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can use your deck station as POS system. Um, POS system stands for point of sale. It is a place where sales are made. So basically your deck station is connected to a monitor. You have your USB barcode reader ready to uh, scan the barcodes and you wanna do some sales. So let's minimize all that. And the app I'm gonna use is um, point of sale free is MOA um, point of sale free app uh, from a Google Play Store with loads of these apps available different varieties different layouts and etc but I found this one to be a bit more easier to understand for all of you guys so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use my free old expired loyalty cards with the barcode to use this as um, product examples so right now, this is a main screen on the bottom. As you can see, this application can be used with USB barcode reader. So I'm going to use my USB barcode reader. And there is an icons like change the language, shut down the app, or choose the shortcut key. So I chose Control 1 to take me straight to add sale. Control plus 2 show price, plus 3 is sales, Control A is add product, and Control S is product list. So basically how it works is if I'm going to press Control A, is gonna op open uh, a new add product. So, but if I will press Control S, it's gonna show me um, a product. So I have a scan couple of products. Barcode scan is Samsung Evo uh, SSD box. So let's say I would like to add another product. So let's scan the barcode. So I'm gonna scan, for example, this. So I'm just gonna take the barcode and a uh, barcode reader. I'm gonna scan the card. So it's picked up the barcode. So I'm gonna name this as uh, my house. Why not? So the price is, let's say, 1.5 million. Why not? And click save. So I have another item. Let's add another one. So press add. Uh, let's scan this card. So let's say this card will say subscribers. Uh, X1000. So basically that means that I'm buying 1000 subscribers. Uh, and it's gonna cost me, uh, let's say, fifteen hundred. Tax twenty percent. Save. And the last one is this white card. So let's add that product as well. So I'm gonna just scan. And this this card will be the moon. Why not? And I'm buying the moon for one point nine million. So added the products. So that's it. There are the prices there. So I have a barcode scan. I have my house. I have the SSD card, subscribers, and etc. You can add, add, edit them by pressing the pencil, and it goes back and you edit you whatever you want to do and click save. And obviously you can search in here. So let's say you have a bunch of lists and you want to find out what this is about. So just search, and it's not found anything. That's strange. So click. All right. So if I'll type in 92103 search. Okay, the search is not working by name. Oh no, I want to search by barcode. Strange. That is it's the way the scanner works. Basically my barcode scanner as soon as it scans it is adds the enter function at the back. So that's why it is a bit uh don't wanna work for. So I need to do a manual even that doesn't want to work. So what else I can do? Uh, by barcode, price, supplier, date, discount, name. So let's search by name. House. Will it find? No, not even find the house. Okay, this is strange. This is a bit of issue. Okay, maybe it's a bug. Maybe this app needs to sort this out. The developers need to sort this out. But anyway, so I have a products in. So I had the products. Obviously, it's here. And... Um, product list is this so let's double check if a barcode okay so free at the end and I just minimized everything my bad so re free at the end okay so I have my product list besides this a search function is not working that is not a problem right add the sale uh, categories obviously you can do category by suppliers departments and etc where they based in the rack um, to us reports how, how well you're doing how good you're doing number format delete all sales and etc so let's go and do a sale so control one takes me to a new sale control two so if I go back 
close this, go back to main menu, control two, takes me to check the price. So let's check the price of this product. And it says subscribers, that's the price. Okay, so what about the price of this item? Right, this is apparently my house. So you take this to a cashier, you can buy my house. And this button, I don't know what this button does. Oh, it takes to a product list. Okay, that's fine. So let's go back to the beginning. And right now, a customer comes in and says, I would like to buy one of those, two of those. And I want to buy the Samsung Evo. So, okay, fine. Okay, you want to buy two of those. That's fine. So scan once, scan twice. So scan twice. You want one of those? That's fine. Scan once. How many of his SSD are you buying? Oh, you're buying five of them. Okay. Buy this. And let's say you want to add a couple of more. Instead of scanning, you just do one, two, three, four. And that's it. That's how you scan. And this button just takes this item totally. And just in case if you scanned it incorrectly or something, so you, you can add. When everything's done, you just press on the disk. It says, how do you would like to pay cash or card? Yeah, I would like to pay cash. Yes, I'm carrying 5.3 million whatever pounds, dollars in my... So, okay, that's it. Uh, sale completed. Another customer comes in and says, okay, I want to buy I want to buy a couple of those. You think, okay, two, yeah. That's it, two, okay. Uh, buy. How are you paying cash? Credit card, okay. Paid whatever cash and credit card reader you have next to it. And that's it. And you've done a couple of sales. So if we go back to reports, which is here, reports, and uh, profit transactions, daily profit or cost, most report. Right, let's click on this one. So products. Uh, let's say this. So starting date, sell date. Okay, how many we sold? We sold three. Total, we sold free, sale total this, purchase, we purchased nothing, total profit is this, and it goes all the way down at the back, at the end, so total tax, it's only 42.99, so total tax you paid, fine, okay, go back, go back, go back, somebody, and the shortcut key, so control one, this takes you to a new sale, and enter is working, so control two, checks the price, control three, checks the sales list, Control 5, not working. Control 4, not working. Control A, takes you to new products. And Control S is product list. So, <clears throat> barcode scanner, uh, export to list. All right, so what I just pressed, Control S, or Control A, it gave me that message. I never had that message before. Obviously, this is uh, the icon top right hand corner. Obviously, the camera is blocking. And basically, by here, just uh, behind my face is a button where it initiates the phone camera if you want to use it. So that search not working. Uh, add at the product. No, thank you. Add to favorites. Barcode scanner. So this is going to be export to Excel. If you want to export this product, set up a USB shortcut key. So you set USB shortcut key. Enter search by search by so control d save um, search by will be control d so when you press control d it's going to change search by add and etc so you just setting up the, con uh, the the keyboard key so by every time you press control d now it gives you this so whole world barcode okay let's try again let's try to scan samsung gibo See, it's, 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 it's just not, not giving um, a result for some reason, and I cannot understand why. Maybe, oh, now it's found it. Okay, let's try this one. All right, okay, so like I said, every time you scan with my barcode reader, maybe yours will be different. It adds enter symbol, enter function at the back. Uh, and the best way to show it to you is going to be this. If I'm going to go and do a new product. So if I scan this, you see it jumps straight to the next line because it acts as an enter at the end of a scanning f uh, function. So that is causing a bit of sometimes problem. Um, let's say I can 
demonstrate this inside the a spreadsheet so if I'll go and open a new spreadsheet so if I'm gonna scan a barcode you're gonna see it adds a line below you see just press enter straight away so if your barcode reader don't do that it possibly would be better because um, it doesn't then mess up with some of these POS system apps but I don't really take this as a big issue because sometimes you need to scan and press enter anyway so this acts as a saving you a half a second or something um, of your time and all done like that let's go back close that um, yeah, let's do a bit more sales so control yeah new sale so I have a couple of codes here so let's scan let's scan this card first so somebody's buying 2,000 subscribers and he wants to buy a moon he wants to buy uh, my house he wants to buy SS SSD and obviously he wants to buy this scanner that I'm using now which is a wasp barcode scanner which is only 9.99 on sale obviously you can add a discount so let's say I'm gonna add discount 5% actually a discount of 100% no 10% will do and say okay and you're paying by cash fine we sold it and this is one of the Android apps that can be used as POS system with a deck station and if you have a barcode reader it's awesomely it's, it's very simple layout no messing about very easy to understand no problems uh, I would say it's it's one of the easiest one to use I tried the maybe 10 or 12 of them some of them is too much colorful it's like you you don't know what to press some of them is created especially for touch screen so you can't really do much with the keyboard and a mouse you need to actually have a touch screen like a tablet Android tablet or something like a Chromebook with um, Android enabled but this app is very very simple to use and very easy to understand so this was um, POS system running on deck station and you can use your Samsung deck station as POS system so that's all you need to do set up a monitor a deck station a USB barcode reader and you're ready to go and do some sales earn some money buy the house buy the moon buy subscribers oh speaking about subscribers don't forget to subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and if you think that I said something here it is bullshit and you think oh he's telling lies tell me in the comment section why you think that i'm talking bullshit here thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye